In this section, we'll talk about uh, building the actual native application. So in order to do this, we need to go to the project and first thing, uh, right click it and go to the project properties. Here, you'll notice that we have an iOS section where we can define the certificate, uh, the certificate password and the provisioning profile. It is crucial that you define the correct app ID matching the provisioning profile that you have and that this portion of the app ID matches your actual project package name because that's how Apple, Google and everyone else identifies your application. Now I won't go too much into the details of how you can get a provisioning profile or a certificate but you'll notice that they're empty for my project and that is because we have a default provisioning profile and certificate that you can define in the ID itself and it works great for testing quickly where you have a generic uh, catch-all provisioning profile for iOS uh, so we defined it here in the codename one section right here <coughs> we have the pre-existing defaults so those pre-existing defaults are sent uh, to the server instead of uh, the one, the blank ones but I can obviously override them on a per project basis when I need to. So now that all of this is in order I can just click send iOS debug build and it is sent to the server. Now this is the codename one server and as you can see the build completed this is actually the server and when the build is complete you get an IPA which is what you can upload to Apple the actual iTunes you can also get the source code from here if you check that option you can actually get an Xcode project that you can download and compile but the interesting thing is this QR code right here and to demonstrate that I'll open uh, this thing which is really my iPad and I'll show you you see it rotating right there which is really cool I'm actually holding an iPad a physical iPad device in my hand uh, right in front of the screen and I'm going or I actually wanted to keep it larger so I actually want to show you how I scan this QR code with the iPad and I've opened here the QR code scanner and I'm pointing it here and you'll notice it identified that QR code and it opened our website the codename one website and I've got a green install button and this is pretty standard I click the install it accepts that and then I click install here and now the application is downloading from the codename one servers directly onto the device and this is by the way a locked device it's not jailbroken in any way. This is completely a legal way to install applications uh, with iTunes, with Apple. And that is because they, we have a provisioning profile that mentions this specific device in it, which is obviously challenging to do. Now I can just launch the application and this is the application running on the device. I can just enter any name and any email because you don't really have verification for that yet and I can click send verification and now I can just enter the key which is always one two three four and done and as you can see the actual application loads with the exact data that we had earlier and here I can take a picture with the actual camera notice the recursion <laughs> which is really cool look at that that is so cool I've got to take a picture of that so now I took this picture and I can use it and as you can see it will now come into place in a moment I can in the meantime flip between the existing images I can obviously rotate the device as I would like and this should come here eventually it will take a while to upload as well so anyway I hope you see how easy it is to actually deploy and install an application in a matter of literally less than a minute. Thank you.